right, welcome to another episode of Payday TCG. And today we have a special box to open, or we have two actually. We have the uh, new Duskwing and Darkwing Necrozma tins. Now, um, they're new, but they've been out for probably a month or so now. I just got them because, um, again, I like to wait for the prices to kind of go down a little bit. They weren't going down, and finally there was a deal online, so I went ahead and got them. Now, these are, I think there's a promo card in here, I think. Yeah, so there is um, a foil card, and then there are four booster box, and there is a special code card here that unlocks a playable 60 card deck for those of you who are into um all nine tcg so i'm gonna open one box today um and i'll open one box maybe in a later video but and we're gonna compare to see kind of which box did better maybe but we're gonna start off with i think we're gonna start off with the dark wing today and then we'll see we'll open the dusk wing at a, in a later video um so this will probably be a short video um and i'm gonna start by taking this tape off all right sticky sticky sticky, sticky. Oh. all right There we go. Ooh. I think this is the first tin that I'm opening on this channel. Um, I have not opened a ton of tins. Um, but the good thing about tins is you can kind of collect the boxes, which are just pretty cool. And they can be used to store cards as well. So this is a tin and looks really cool. It has you know, um, this is the Dusk Main, the Crosma on this side. It features the Dark Wing right here. It's also here as well. Um, you have the Pokemon logo. Then you have all the different energies on this side. Okay. Let's open this up. And right off the bat, we have the promo card, which is this awesome Dawn Wings, um, Oh, it's Dawn Wings. I'm saying Dark Wings. What? Dawn Wings. Wow, I've been getting that wrong for a long time. <clears throat> oh, man. Excuse me. It's allergies now, so... Allergy season. My least favorite season of the year because of allergies. Alright, so... I'm going to pop this card out. If you look at it... The design is actually quite cool. The attack is Moon Moon's Eclipse GX. I'm not sure how playable this card is. Some of you guys with who played the All Night TCG game might know better, but it looks pretty cool. For three energy cards doing that much damage, it seems like it's a pretty solid card. There are four packs in here. So there's one Ultra Prism pack, one Crimson Invasion, and then two X and Y packs. Okay. For some reason I thought you were gonna get four Ultra Prism packs, but I guess that is not the case. We do get at least one. So we're gonna open it in this order. We're gonna start off with the Steam Siege pack first, and gonna work our way down to the newest pack. All right, so let's just get straight into it. Here is the code for the Steam Siege pack. You can get start off with the Azuro, the Gold Azuro Persian, Flaffy, Yanma, Chimchar, Bergmite, Clauncher, C Dot. The reverse hollow is a Yanma, and the rare. <gasps> Whoa, that is sick. So we got the Gardevoir artwork and we have the Gardevoir EX card. Oh my gosh, this card looks so cool. What a pull, seriously. My very first pack too. 
All right, can we keep this up with the Fates Collide pack? Let us see. Man, what a way to start. All right. So again, the code. And it's three from the back, so it should be here, I think. All right, we get the Ultra Ball. Old Amber Aerodactyl, whoops. Power Memory, Larvitar, Vola V, Finnegan. It's kind of hard to. Wismer, Chino, Reverse Hollow Riolu. The card is kind of sticking together. And the rare is a Barbaraco. That's how you pronounce it. Barbaraco? All right. Now getting into our Sun and Moon packs, we have the Crimson Invasion booster pack. So let's go ahead and get into it. This is the code. All right, one, two, three. I think there's four. So. Yes, so we start off with the Grass Energy. We have a Huntor, a Lusamine, Kakuna, Schwabu, Shumit, Mistrevious, Kaknia, a Lowman Geodude, Reverse Hollow Rare Octillery, and the Rare is an Altaria. Now our last pack of the day is the Ultra Prism pack. Can we pull something good? That would be sick. And that, there are so many great pulls in the Ultra Prism set that you know, I'm hoping we can get lucky and pull something good. So here's the code for you guys. All right, go ahead and move four cards of front Sita Energy card. It is a Dark Energy. All right, you get a Skunk Tank, Pow Pad, Yen Mega, Hippopotas, Snover, Glameow, Cherubi, Electabuzz, this is a Reverse Hollow Carnivine, and the rare is a Feramosa GX. Look at that, this is a Secret rare actually is 158 out of 156. We did it, guys. We did pull something sick. So, from this box, let's see what we got. We got the Dawn Wings and the Crozuma, the Gardevoir EX, Fort, and the Pheromos, the GX Secret Rare. Wow, that was a pretty good, pretty good pack for four booster packs. That is pretty darn good. Now this is the code for the booster box. What I might do is, uh, I might, you know what? I'm just gonna give it out right now. Psh, too easy to do anything else with it. But, um, you know, this this is definitely, for me, I think it was worth it. I think I paid, this, uh, I wanna say 17 bucks for it. It's not that much off. I think the original price is like, what, $20? Now, here's the thing though. I'm not sure this box is actually worth 20 bucks because think about it, there are only four booster packs. Um, and so, but you do get the promo card, right? But there's only four booster packs for 20 bucks. Generally speaking, you can get a booster pack for what, three or four bucks? So you're paying about four bucks for the promo card. Um, and so generally speaking, I don't really buy too many tins because I just don't feel like it's really worth it. Unless the prices do go down after a while, you know, the 10 prices do drop, but they don't drop as much as some other things because I think the 10s are pretty collectible. Um, but today we got lucky and pulled quite a few good cards. I'm not sure if we can beat it with with this guy or not, but we'll try. So next time we'll be opening this one. So stay tuned for that video. Um, but yeah, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and definitely stay tuned for more awesome Pokemon TCG videos. So next time this is Payday TCG and peace.